All right, so when we make a table of values, one of the first things we need to do is choose values for X or possible inputs. So these are kind of your choice. You go two, four, six, you go negative two, negative four, negative six. You could either, even go with some crazy numbers like this, but generally speaking, we want to pick easy numbers to work with. Now that we have our X's, time to find the corresponding outputs or corresponding Y values. So our rule was negative two times whatever X is plus three. So for this row here, the X is a zero, so that's negative two times zero plus three. Multiply first, zero plus three makes three. Next row, again, negative two times whatever X is, plus three, X is a one, negative two times one, multiplication first, now the addition. And for the last row, negative two times two, plus three, that's going to be a negative four plus three, makes negative one. Check out these other videos that are also on tables and linear functions.